This tutorial shows how to create a scatter plot with linear regression using Transmart. The scatter plot displays values for two variables within a dataset with a line that best fits the slope of the data. To create a scatter plot with linear regression, first open Transmart, then click the Dataset Explorer tab in the top menu bar. Open the Public Studies folder to see what data you have to work with. We will be using the breast cancer study by Sorley for this example. We now need to drag data into the Subset 1 comparison box. I will drag the entire Sorley dataset folder into Subset 1 because I want to use all of the samples in the study for my analysis. When you run your analysis, you can choose to run it on a subset of data. For example, I could have expanded the breast cancer study by Sorley folder and expanded the sample factors folder and only dragged particular samples from the study into subset 1 if that met my analysis needs. So for example, the TNM category folder. But for now, let's go back to dragging the entire Sorley dataset folder into subset 1. In a scatter plot with linear regression, only information in subset 1 will be considered for the analysis. Placing information into subset 2 will prevent your analysis from running. Once you have dragged your data into subset 1, click the Advanced Workflow tab. Click the Analysis button and select Scatter Plot with Linear Regression from the drop-down. The Variable Selection page appears. We now need to define the independent and dependent variables for the analysis by dragging data from the Sorley study into the two variable boxes. I will choose to compare the agent diagnosis data as my independent variable and the survival time and months data as my dependent variable. To find these variables, go back to the expanded breast cancer study by Sorley folder and make sure the sample factors folder is expanded. At the bottom, click and drag the age diagnosis data into the independent variable box. Go back to the sample factors folder and expand the endpoints folder. Drag the survival time and months data into the dependent variable box. You can choose different variables for your analysis. However, the data you choose for the independent variable and dependent variable should be continuous. You can see whether data in the study tree is continuous by looking at the symbol listed to its left. Continuous data in Transmart is shown with a 1, 2, 3 symbol. Once you have entered data into the variable boxes, click the Run button. Scroll down to view your analysis. Survival time appears on the y-axis of the scatter plot, and age of diagnosis appears on the x-axis. The linear regression result table provides important calculations such as p-value, y-intercept, and slope. You can download the raw R data by clicking this link at the bottom of the page. To save your analysis, click the Save to PDF button. This concludes the tutorial.